Hello everyone and welcome. I'm the Angry Chef and today we're back in Fallout 4, uh, continuing where we left off last time. Um, now, while we were away, I did, I think I put the uh, door on here and we have a light that works in our little hut. Um, I did clear pretty much everything off of the lot here. I moved some of our things around so that they're a little easier to get to. We have our power armor on our little rack there and I built this uh, trunk to hold all the stuff um, that we're not currently needing to carry and things like special nuka colas which I don't know they may have some kind of use later the minigun I'm only going to be using with the power armor so I left that in the box also um, now I remember reading on the terminal something about there being a cave underneath this place and I actually ran across it so I'm going to see if we can't, right, right here it is. So we're going to run in here and get these little things so we can s scrap them for later. All kinds of tools here. There's a bunch of tires. And this was actually out farther than um, it would allow us to build or to destroy anything. So we'll get this fungus and we'll head inside and see what's underneath the gas station we have a lot of brain fungus mole rats <laughs> I love those sunglasses, that's insane uh oh, there's more coming. Nice shot. And the last one. And he's dead. Okay. I think that's the last one. I didn't see any more, at least. We'll harvest this fungus. Grab the beer bottle, the nuka bottle. We can use those for glass back in our, um, you back there whining dog? We can use those for glass in our safe houses or our settlements, that's the word I was looking for. And we're going to take the hide and the toothbrush, I think there's gas in here actually. There's a carrot in the cooler, we can actually plant that, there's a bag here. And I went ahead and um, harvested all of our armor pieces and weapons that we weren't using um, so that I could get the materials out of those. And since I got, I think I have the scavenger perk with this character, um, we're able to get better items out of the weapons that we are breaking down. So we'll have a better chance to get more coolant there. We have a better chance to get more rare materials than we would otherwise. Some more bottles. Okay, so. There's nothing back there. We've been back there. We have this here. Oh, a fusion core. Okay. There's a pipe pistol. Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on the 2076 Trash, Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Sincerely, G Gerard Phillips, Vice President, Boston Region. We'll take the note. and will see why not. There's 10-meter rounds over here. We're taking a lot of radiation, so we need to kind of get out of here. Which way did we come in? That one takes us back to the surface. Where's this lead? Even deeper. I can take the leg bones, okay. Take the fungus. I hear... Oh, that's what I hear. Oh, it's a r rabid mole rat? Oh, no. Oh, that was a good shot. There, he's dead. 
We don't have to worry anymore. Duct tape wrench. A rabid mole rat. So a actual named mole rat. It was quite a bit more challenging than the regular ones. I wonder if that's going to be the same with all the other types of enemies in the game. There's a teddy bear in here. I can't get the teddy bear. I don't want to drink the water. Just scrap paper on the ground. The hide and the teeth I want. Some Abraxo. And we're going to see what's in this safe. Alright. Yes. Some ammo. Comfort grip, light pipe pistol. Lightweight, hardened raider leg. Pipe revolver rifle. Huh. That sounds interesting. Pipe revolver rifle? It uses 45 ammo, which we only have 14 of. So I think we might want to hold on for now with what we're using. Or the laser musket, which we were running out of ammo for that as well. I think the best thing to do now, um, since we did a little bit of building to show you how it's done, and I kind of want to keep the story moving forward. We're going to head back to the gas station. Now see if we can't break down some of this gear we just picked up. And um, we'll check out maybe a weapon mod before we head off. So, in the meantime though, I did figure out how to make jet. Dog meat found something. What'd you find? He picked something up. What is it? Is it a stem pack? Oh. Good boy. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Oh, he can sit up. Good boy. All right. So, we have First we want to head to our workshop. And oh, we don't want to go into it. So we want to transfer and store all of our junk with the T key. That way it'll be stored in this particular workshop. We want to pull off anything that's special. So we have this light. Oh, I have to make it because we don't have it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I thought that I could just remove it. Maybe not the frame. Maybe another part I can. Nope. Go back. You know what? I'm just going to break it down. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. Cause I'm sure we'll find a ton of other weapons to break apart. So. Pipe revolver rifle. This thing here might be interesting. I'm not sure though. Well, well, for now we'll just break it down. We can come across better stuff. We get a screw out of that and copper. And those are rare items or uncommon items rather. Short pipe rifle. Another screw and some copper. So we'll take a look. Oh, did I accidentally? I accidentally break broke down my pistol. That's terrible. I thought I was breaking down something else. But. I guess not. Well, we have a lot of 38 ammo, so what we'll, what we'll do is we'll upgrade this here, this here pipe rifle. Yeah, we'll do that. Improve rate of fire, better damage. Hardened pipe rifle takes an extra screw. We'll get the heavy. Yeah, we'll get the heavy uh, frame receiver. Yeah. Heavy frame receiver. I know we need all of that stuff. Actually, let me see if there's anything better for the gun we can get before we go picking that. Like the barrel. Pipe rifle. Short pipe rifle. Ported pipe rifle. We can't do it because we're not a gun nut. 
you know, I think we'll wait until we can actually get some of those perks before we try building anything. Um, it may just be better that way so we can build more things. It's raining. Oh, nice. Okay, but for now, we're going to head to Sanctuary and on to our next quest. I'm going to pop a rat away real quick. Cannot believe that I broke down our pistol. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all. Okay. Um, yes, we made the jet for Mama Murphy. So n we tried to talk her out of using it, but we couldn't. Our charisma is not good enough. So she ended up wanting it, and we we get, we end up making a little bit for her. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is take it back to her. And then we will speak with, I want to say Randall, I may be wrong. Wait, where are we going? I'm not sure, let's check the map. Talk to the settlers. Up at Ten Pines Bluff. I I think I want to go back to Sanctuary first. It seems like Sanctuary. It's an awesome, awesome Meyer Lurk model. It seems like the um, Sanctuary horseshoe crab became a settlement um, just by finishing that mission. So it looks like uh, we may already have a settlement going that we might have to take care of. We got people, Sturgis, working on stuff. We have benches of all type. I'm gonna take some of this stuff here. Take that battery. Just wanted to trade oh. a few things. No, I didn't want your stuff. Bayoneted pipe rifle. That's kind of awesome. I'll take the shovel. That's an armor workbench. I wonder if it's a. Let's take a look. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Those glasses, though. Oh, so will it not let me use a workshop? No, I can't use the workshop here. I'd be glad to help. Just... Tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping okay. on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid okay. enough to do the trick. There's a workbench. Okay, this there. might be why I couldn't use it. Give me a holler if you need anything. Build sheltered beds for sanctuary settlers. So we'll yeah, they're low on food, they're low on everything. There's Mama Murphy. I'm gonna put some beds in first. Okay, we have these small beds. We we don't have any cloth here. We would actually have to go around and break stuff down for this. So I may I may just do that um, in between episodes. I'll go and clear this place out a bit so we can get some materials built up so that we can start working on sanctuary. But we're gonna talk with Mama Murphy. Hey. We brought her jet. So the the Kims are killing her. It looks like she told me Diamond City is where I'd find my answers, but nobody's gonna want to answer me. Okay, fair enough. We're gonna swing by 
at the truck stop. And then we will go talk to the settlers over at that farm. See if we can't convince a few more people to join us over here. So it's kind of weird they would set it up as a settlement when there's not even enough food already to ready to go. So we'll not do that. They will transfer all of our junk over there. We'll see. I didn't want to pick up anything, which I did. We'll put anything we're not going to need. We'll store all this fungus in here. We'll put... Wait, wait, wait. Fusion cells, fusion core. Glowing fungus doesn't weigh anything. Harden raider right leg. May be able to use that. We'll put the Trash Busters Award away. We'll put our sugar bombs away for a rainy day. I want to see what... If we can use that Raider part. Raider right leg. Yep, this looks like a leather wrap around our leg. That's fine. Alright. So we have our quest marker over here. So we're going to head out and see what we find over here with these settlers. hearing a sound I don't know if I like or not. So I think this is the town we were in. Let's stop by the house and see if we can find anything worth taking. I may have already hit this house. Yep, I broke into the safe already. So I've already been this route to get out of here. We'll go run up to what this map marker is. See if it's anything special or important. So we have secrets locked away in Diamond City. Sounds like Diamond City will be a place we're going to end up visiting before too long. I think the radio in the game is actually from Diamond City as well. Thicket Excavations. What do we have here? Oh, like a salt mine? Is that what this is? Uh, is that a ghoul? Let's go and find out. I think we have a junk... Oh no. Okay, so <laughs> at least we don't have to worry about falling 800 feet if we're careful. Alright, so we're in the salt mine. At least I think it's a salt mine. There's bubbles coming up from over there. Is there fishing in this game or is there something down there? It scares me half to death to think about going in that water right now. So yeah, we're we're <laughs> we're not gonna do it now. We'll have to remember to come back out here later and check out these bubbles. I think there's two sets. There's one back here and one in the sort of in the center. I think we have some zombies or some ghouls up ahead. I saw one from up top. I don't want to miss any goodies in these trailers. Like taboo tattoos, a new facial tattoo. I don't know if we're going to get a facial tattoo or not. Desk fan, some duct tape, some rat poison, a stim pack, just sitting in the office. Alright, that sounds good. There's another little trailer here.
I feel a little uneasy being out here in the middle of this big open area and not not seeing anything yet. Sully, is he a good guy? Okay. I could use a hand here if you're all done talking. I could probably help for a few caps extra. Just had to push. Oh, he didn't. Oh. Help you with what exactly? I'm trying to fix this old water. Oh, he wants to drain it. Okay, well, if he turns on us, we can kill him. You helping or not? Okay. What do you need help with? The pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could huh. Oh, Lord. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, we're going to come back and do this at another time, because, I again, I don't... Really fancy the idea of jumping in that water yet. A sledgehammer. Holy cow. I'll take a sledgehammer. Well, we can t at least check out the rest of the buildings here without really having to worry much because there's a another person here. Dirty water. Wrenches. We have a... What is this? A chem box? Oh, we broke a pick. That's fine. We got a load of pigs. There we go. Jet fuel and medics. Okay. Some sugar bombs. I'm going to leave those. Take the fan, the light bulb. Take the stem pack. Let's we'll see if we can get in the tool case. There we go. Got a short pipe rifle. Thicket Excavations Terminal. Shipment logs. 81677, 315 tons, tables and tops were Rochester, New York. 82377, 250 tons, pillar pushers, Damascus, Maryland. 91577, 275 tons, interior slabs, for Petersburg. So this may be a marble quarry. Tables and tops, pillars, slabs, top drawer living ornate obelisk. This may be a marble quarry, actually. Okay, that's neat. We can play the tape. Sully's Log, 617. This is a great spot. With the right crew, I'd have no problem keeping this place locked down. Traders run close enough for easy pickings, but not so close that we end up skinned. The whole damn thing's filled with water, though. Figures, there's always a catch. Big-ass drainage pump looks mostly intact. If I'm lucky, it might still work. I'm going to take a closer look tomorrow. Sully's Log, 618. Nope, not going to be that easy still. The pump is in better shape than you think. I'd like to head back and grab some tools, but it's pretty late. I'll tinker with it some more before I bed down tonight, then head out in the morning. We have 620. Shouldn't be too hard now. Glad I grabbed that sledge, even if it was a bitch to carry all this way. Thing was rusted tight. A few good whacks with the sledge cleared that problem right up. Thing made the damnedest sound each time, though. You'd swear there was something moving around in there. See, and this is what I'm worried about. Was able to make most of the connections, patched up all the pipe leaks I could find, besides the ones in the water. All the noises I've been hearing. I'm not setting a foot in there. I'd I'll probably head back and drag one of the new guys over here and make him do it. So he was hearing noises. We're going to pop the hollow tape out of this. Take Sully's journal with us. Just because. Oh, dog, you scared the hell out of me right then. Alright. So we've looked that way. There's nothing in that truck. We got more marble. Marble or granite. I'm fine with either one. Nothing in vats that I can see. That's good. There's a truck on the road up ahead. So we'll check that out. And see what we can find. 
I think this it looks pretty nice overall though. I kind of like the way it's done. Wait, I hear things again. Oh, can't get in the truck. It must be busted up. We do have something right ahead though. Let's go check this out. What are these ghouls? Feral ghouls. Oh man. And they run so quick. Oh, dog handling business. Nice work, dog meat. You really showed that ghoul. Is there any more? Or was that it? I hear still have music playing. I don't try a dead Brahmin. Did the ghouls eat the Brahmin? Okay, so this is just a dead one, I'm assuming. Yep, he's dead. Some glue. Look out, dog meat. Get out of the door. Wonder pen, glue, flip lighter. Oh lord! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head. Critical. Knocked him back a little. The door opened behind me though. Oh jeez. Oh shit. I hate when things like that happen. Ugh. A can of gas. There's a melon, huh? So we can grow melons, maybe? We'll find out soon enough. There's a fuse. I know fuses have copper in them. So we're gonna need that. Anything here? Nothing there. Some empty bottles. Gee, and I'm not sure what glass does just yet, but we'll collect it anyway. Take the clipboard. Loading dock terminal. Cargo regulations. Bedford Station cargo relation regulations. Policy revision 4.352177. All cargo manifests are to be logged to this terminal. Logs will be maintained logically for si locally for six months before being archived to hollow tape. Intake shipments occur between 8 o'clock and 8.30. Delivery to the quarry is expected no later than 12 o'clock. No exceptions. Output shipments occur between 1500 and 1700. I don't know if it was military time or not, so I didn't want to say 0800. Cargo designated 0000 slash miscellaneous should be forwarded to the quarry. Notify Foreman Lanaham upon arrival for further instructions. View cargo manifests. We have 102277. Invoice 2124 intake, drill parts, grade 4 steel rebar, grade 4 steel wire, miscellaneous, okay, 2126, rebar fastenings wire, okay, nothing strange there, this looks like a regular shipping manifest. Ooh, a trunk. There's fusion cells in there. Mine. Bolt action pipe. Quick heavy pipe rifle. Or pistol. It's gotta be one or the other. Okay. Oh lord. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. Oh no. Oh man. I don't know what exploded. <laughs> Another ghoul right behind me. I cannot shoot him like that. Oh man. All these ghouls around. Just terrible. Why does this ghoul have a baby rattle? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dog pulled his foot out from under him. I'm gonna shoot, shoot him in his face. Where did all these ghouls come from? 
Oh man, did they all like wake up at once because of the explosion or? Because I didn't see any other ones. We're going to use... Use one stem pack for now. Possibly more in a second. I keep missing the, the vats button too. It's kind of not working out to my advantage. Get out of here. Leave my dog alone. Are you after me, buddy? Oh, man. Well. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die. There's so many. There's so many ghouls. Die, ghoul. Oh, Lord. All right. Are we clear? Whew. That was intense. Okay, um... Do we have anything to drink that would heal us? We have dirty water. We have fungus. I don't want to drink... We'll drink a Nuka-Cola too. Yeah, we got rid of most of our rads. I'm not a huge fan of this rifle. You okay, dog? Yeah, you're okay. Okay. I'll make sure that I'm scavenging these bodies. Wish I had a baseball bat. That would have made this a little easier. Just to bust in heads silently instead of blowing up a barrel. Or blowing up... I blew something up. I have no idea what it was. An aluminum can. Interesting. We have a train station over there, but I don't think we're going to check it yet because it's in the opposite direction that we want to go. So we're just going to continue our trip over here to this marker. I think it's a farm. Pick some flowers. Wild carrot flowers. Caravan guard. Look, there's a caravan up ahead. That must be the farm that way. Hey, I just want to know what you guys are doing. I don't even see a Brahmin. I wanted to buy and sell, but I guess you're not interested. Is there something dead here? What is this? A wild mongrel. That's dead. So they killed a dog, maybe. Now we'll head up here. We might be going the same way as the caravan is. We'll take this little hub of flower. Let's try to keep our eyes open for any more ghouls that might be around. never know when you're going to need a handful of flowers. What's this? Stilt beans. Okay, we'll take the beans. We can grow food for some of our settlers. There's some settlers here. This must be where we were supposed to come. Before we do anything. Let's see if there's anything we can take. Oh, I'll be stealing. Hey. <coughs> what do you want? We don't need any more trouble. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't yeah. think you still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business that. What's the trouble? Is there something you need my help with? Oh, yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies. Threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from. But we can't go up against the gang. Join the Minutemen. 
Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? We'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. And that's not going to change overnight. Okay, so you don't trust the Minutemen. But if I take care of some raiders for you, you might change your mind. Oh man. I'm going to pick some of these potatoes for our own farms. Sorry you had to see this, ma'am. How are you doing? <coughs> Don't care much for good neighbor. That's good neighbor is nothing but trouble. Hey, Lucas Miller. Hey. You have armor. Okay. Uh, barter. Sure. Let's take a look. Don't cheap out the armor. Oh, you're right. I'm not really wearing any, and I can feel it. So, let's see if he has any kind of mantis left arm guard. Mantis? Huh. We can have things shipped to our settlement. Not interested. I'm interested, but I don't really have the caps for everything he's selling right now. So, that that's alright, though. We'll be fine without it for now. We'll go check out this busted building. Oh lord, rad roaches. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> it's pinned into the floor. Oh. I got a dog, you're good. I appreciate the uh, the help. You know, we actually leveled up and I regretted to, to realize it. I think, um, so we have Scrapper, we have Hacker, we have Locksmith. They have level requirements, so we can't do much with that. Demolition Expert, Blacksmith. I'd really like to get some of those. But I want to get Attack Dog first, so he can hold on to uh, enemies and give us a better chance to hit. So we're going to get that, since I'm pretty much going to keep dog, we dog meat with me uh, early in the game. So, I really want to have this. The next one, he still holds them. Okay, that's fine. I just want him to be able to grab hold of my enemies. Instead of some of the quicker enemies, me struggling to hit them before they can duck behind cover or get up too close. So, let's have a look at the map. Nope, map. They want us to head down to the Corvega Assembly Plant. So we'll head to Bedford Station. We need to look through the station while we're there. Um, and the Corvegas, I believe, are the cars that everyone's driving. I think we have a we have a key to a Corvega something or other. I'll take a look. Maybe it was from the same bandits that were attacking Concord. Huh. Maybe everything is connected somehow. So let me take a look at our miscellaneous items, maybe. Yeah, we have a Corvega storage key. Okay, maybe that'll come in to the s to the mission. Dog meat. What have you found? Oh, I was gonna get in here anyway. What's this? You found some bottles. Okay, you found some caps. A dead body. Railway spikes. We'll keep all that. Railway spikes leads me to think there's a railway cannon, which I don't know. I, I loved that gun because it n nailed people to walls, but I don't know if um, if it's in the game, number one, and number two, is it, if it'll have the same effect that it used to have, which would be pinning things to walls. I remember shooting ghouls in the head with it, and their head would be mounted on the wall behind the, where their body was because it would be so powerful it would detach. The station master terminal. Dog meat, stop barking. I'll be there in a second. So we have soap. We have a gun that looks like somebody shot himself with. Station master's terminal. Track control status inactive. Alert, a critical failure in the track switching system has been detected. Please clear the tracks. Spotlight control. Standardized spotlight control BIOS and men allied units connected to activate lights. Spotlights activated. So did we just light up the train tracks? 
Okay. System diagnostics. Two spotlights linked. No intruder detected. No intruder detected. Okay. That's interesting. Play the tape. I'm going to take it. Oh, since we, t <laughs> since we took it, it stopped it. I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, we'll go to our miscellaneous and this one. We'll play it. Dutchman's outfit. Uh, I'll draw them off. Give me a count of ten, and uh, break for the tree line. What? Dutchman, I. There's no time. Good luck, A9. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. No! What is this here? We'll take all these goodies. Maybe I found a better pistol or a better gun for us in general. Let's take a look at some of these. Compensated hardened 10 millimeter. So this is 22 damage. Okay. Bold action. Whoa, that one's 34 damage. Well, we'll equip this for now and see what everything compares to it. Quick heavy pipe pistol. Pipe rifles, a sledgehammer. Nothing new there. We did pick a, up some notes that I want to look at. We found the Dutchman's instructions. Deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Okay, so look for a blue barrel. We have Helena's instructions. The package arrives at midnight. Okay, so there should be a blue barrel around here with gear, maybe? Those aren't barrels. And the package arrives at midnight. But everyone was dead, so... Oh. So did they get the package, or didn't they get the package? Oh, that was... That was so bad. Oh, thank you for finally hitting what you're aiming at. Take that lantern. Okay, I don't see anything else, so I'm hoping the music, yeah, the music is just cutting out. A blue barrel. Oh. Raider chest, ple chest piece plus. I don't need those other random clothes. Stem pack and a rat away. Oh, good stuff. Alright, nice. Now we're going to head to... The Raiders Town, I think. The area of the map where there are Raiders hold up. The Corvega plant. Yes, that's it. Wait, did we look in here? Yeah, I, that's the first car that dog meat led us to. There's the train itself it looks pretty neat it's really sleek there's branches all over the place now I wonder if we can take this over and actually clear this that would be excellent there's something over there a bus nuka cherry it's gonna walk across here real awkward spot on the tracks 
Looks like a swamp over there. Oh, we got a wild dog here. Oh, look at its face. One dead dog. Usually, where there's one dog, there's more. Just need to keep our eyes open. Nope, no dogs. Good. Ooh, this is locked. Not for long. And oh, I <laughs> just broke a lock pick for no freaking reason. All right. There we go. What's inside? Bottle cap right away. A potato in the cooler. That noise is bu bugging me. It sounds like rad roaches. Nothing really good in here. I don't know why it was even locked. Unless this guy locked himself in here to die with one potato, which is... I think a potato is a cross between a tomato and a potato. But I think there's an NPC that'll tell us more that I haven't come across yet. In, in this playthrough. I do have another playthrough going just so I can test various things out before I try it out on the air because there's some things still about Fallout 4 that I don't know yet. So it's better to at least know what I'm talking about in my episodes than to guess and look silly all the time. So it looks like, what is this, a factory? Cars, power lines, Nuka Cola sign on the right there. Nothing in the fridge. So we're supposed to go up and on to that area. We have a little no, do not cross these barriers set up in the street. We have a busted car. Haven't found anything inside the cars yet. Lexington. I, if I remember correctly, the one of the Minutemen told us that Lexington was where they got chased out by ghouls. So I kind of need to stay on our guard in Lexington. Lexington looks like a pretty big place too. All kinds of stuff here. We'll just make a w our way around. And we'll probably search a little bit through Re Lexington before we end the video today. And we'll probably pick it up uh, next episode, finishing up this quest. So we'll have to go and find the raiders in the Corvega plant. Locker, locker, empty lockers. A glow sided calibrated 10 millimeter pistol. How does that compare to the gun we're using? A lot less damage and it weighs more. <laughs> I don't know how those are pluses. Seems like we're in some kind of parking garage or something. Ooh, it's got a basement. Parking garage. Can't get in there. Invisible walls. So we'll go check out the parking garage and see what's in here. <gasps> Holy smokes. <laughs> Unlock this terminal. <laughs> oh man. Did you guys see all those ghouls? Loss, heavy, or mail, gain. So we need to find our little matching pairs so that we don't destroy this terminal. So I believe this terminal is going to be for the Protectatron that's in that case nearby. We may be able to get him to help us clear those ghouls out, which would be excellent. Nothing there, nothing there. 
Nothing there. There's one. There's another. So, I can't tell what had... It was before gain, so that one's gone. I'll try to save. One likeness. Task. One likeness. Save. Save and task. Is it? No, it can't be gate. Save and task. Just had an A together. We've tried gain. Gus doesn't want. You know what? We'll tab out. Go back in before we get completely murdered. It's not hook. Claw is not right. Bone is not right. Sometimes these terminals are a real pain. I know we're going to have a boatload of troubles if I can't get into that. If I can get into this terminal. There's so many ghouls, we probably won't make it. It's a dud. Do not give me an allowance replenish this time. No way. Oh, man. That, w that was very bad. <laughs> Died. Has two. So we have an I, an E, and a D. Slid. Two likenesses. Two died. There we go. Protect the Tron control. Choose personality. We want a law enforcement robot. And we want to activate the units. Oh man, they're all on me. I have a sledgehammer. But I should probably <laughs> probably just use my 10mm here and heal up before they have a chance to hit me. So we have a raider chest piece. Yeah, we'll put that on. Let's buff out, dude. It gives us more max HP. We have a death claw steak. Let's eat that. I can't even see my health. Oh, this is just as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Drink the water. I want the ghoul right in front of me. The roamer. Critical. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you so much. I think they outmanned the uh, Protectatron. Oh, my leg is hurt. Where'd that ghoul go? I know he's around here somewhere, but I can't find him. Dog, have a stim pack. You good? That was freaking crazy. Power relay coil, steel, shotgun shells. Ooh, a sweet roll, pipe pistol. I'm not going to take that other crap. Medics and a psycho. I know there's ghouls around here because they just ran down that hall. Bottle cap kick. Button. Hey. Hey, wait there. Follow me. I don't want to talk to you. I wanted to get these goodies. 
Empty coolant. A lunchbox. What? What happened? <laughs> Did it just play a song? Two ball. Nothing's over here. So that's all the ones we shot to death. Man, this was bad. I see you ghouls. I don't know why you're over here. Wow, that was a bad miss. No, you don't. Yay. And we got to level up out of it. Wonderful. It's kind of dangerous to come in here. A coil in a bucket. Some coolant. A pocket watch. Shot glass. We have a gate. Okay, crack that open. Let's see what goodies await us. Stem pack. Grenades and mines. A brand new Nuka Cola in there. A minute man. Thought I heard something make noise again. I'm already gun shy with all these ghouls around. Take that goodies. Plastic spoon. Some antifreeze. This opens back to the commonwealth, okay. What does it bring us? Oh, okay, this is the... Back to where we were, pretty much. Dog tags. Not sure what that's for. Anything in the car? So far I have not found anything in the cars. There may be some with stuff in them. But I haven't seen any. There we go. I do want to check this. We'll check out the middle of the street here. This whole little block plate and a cup. We can use those for materials. We gotta get into the back room. Pre-war money. A toaster, a coffee pot, and the hot plates we need for the copper that's in them so we can make wires. Things like that. Employees only. There's an upstairs and a downstairs here. I guess he's dead or that window is bulletproof. One or the other. Hot plate. Cake pan. Drinking glass. What's this? Ooh, snack cakes. Sounds good. Oh, it's nice to have a little bit of snack cakes around. Oh, it's a guy that's a donut with a cup of coffee. He's committing suicide by coffee. As you know, if you put your donut in coffee, it's just going to fall apart. I can't get on the roof, unfortunately. Not even sure why it let us up there. There wasn't anything really of note there. Nothing down here. We have Slocum Joe's basement. I haven't ran into anyone yet in this whole building. But it looks like kind of like a diner. So, Slocum Joe's basement. It's a weird kind of music playing here. I don't know how I feel about it. Take a bowl. Take all your Abraxo. What's that? Dirty water. I think we can purify 
open a bookcase. There's an elevator behind that door. The newspapers will give us some cloth. There's a dead guy here with a gray knit cap. I don't think we'll take the knit cap. A lot of the clothing items you can't actually modify. The only thing you can really do with them is sell them. Take these bottles. Push this button. The elevator isn't functioning. The elevator is not functioning. Huh. Or if there's any way to get it functioning. I don't know. We'll have to find out later. Because right now, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do to uh, make it work. Okay, so we'll head back out of here. We'll check out the Red Rocket gas station. And then we'll head home to store all of our newfound junk and break our weapons and things apart before we head out for the day. Oh, we have a bench right here. Armor workbench. I'd rather do this stuff at home so it gets stored in our home area. So apparently each of your settlements stores its own materials. And the only way to trade them is with a perk that we can get, um, but you have to have settlements built first. And we only have the one which isn't mo as much a settlement as it is just our own house and we do have sanctuary which we need to build up but we lack the materials to really do it right now there's a little armor rack and everything out here this looks like it could be another settlement if it gets cleared kind of want to go in this house too but I can't all right. Look there, a little statue in the parkway. There's the Corvega plant. Let's take a look at the map to see if there's anywhere nearby we can port back to. We can port back to Lexington and walk down. It's not too bad of a trip. But we are going to, for now, head back to the truck stop. Yep, we're going to travel. The I can't fast travel when there's enemies nearby. I do not like the sound of that at all. So we're going to try to get out of here far enough away that we can do our fast travel. There we go. Ooh, look at that pistol. It looks like a Desert Eagle or some kind of 45 Magnum, maybe. It's a nice gun. Hunting revolver. It's much better than the little things we're stuck with, except the 10 millimeter pistol we just found was pretty good actually. I think, did we just level up? We want to check that out. Yep, we did. We did level up. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our options. Cap collector, toughness, pickpocketing. Stim packs restore more health. Armorer. One more level we can do expert locks. So we can head back to the vault and pick up that weapon that was sealed away. Oh, I can zoom in. Okay. I think I'm going to take this point and put it into Gun Nut. Now we unlock some new. Some new gun mods. And that would be nice to be able to actually build something useful for us. We'll head in. Again, I hit the wrong button. We'll transfer all of our junk. We'll head over to our weapon bench. 
10 regular 10 meter meter pistol we're gonna scrap it glow sided 10 millimeter we'll scrap bolt action scrap pipe pistol scrap pipe pistol scrap quick heavy pipe pistol nope I don't do not want to scrap the laser musket short pipe rifles scrap all three get some of those materials sledgehammer we can scrap or we can modify it puncturing sledgehammer ooh Let's see for this we need black blacksmith rank 2 that thing it looks like a meat tenderizer well we know we can get a sledgehammer later most likely and do it so we're going to scrap that too we're going to head to the armoring station which is right here armor workbench we're using all of our armor but the armor can be upgraded as well you can change the this to an insulated lining better energy resistance better radiation you can add all kinds of stuff to them once you have the appropriate perks so it is really good but I think like I said next time um, during the these two episodes, th this episode and the next, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at clearing Sanctuary out. Maybe try to get a little bit of things set up for those people so that we can um, keep the story going. I won't continue the story until I come back, but between now and then I will go through, scrap everything that I can around the uh, home base and at least take a look at getting the beds put in that we need. But I think that's going to do it for this episode today. Thank you all very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you liked or disliked the video, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any kind of recommendations for a game or anything you'd like to see on the channel, uh, just let me know in the comment section here on YouTube or over on Twitter, and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, for most requests, I will try to, to kind of put them before most other things that I want to do. But just let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you all again for checking me out today. I, I do appreciate you watching. And you all have a great day.